What's going on everybody? Doc from Average Gamer guys. We're back. Some more Destiny action. And actually going to jump into some Crucible quick play matches today. Uh, I'm going to talk through my loadout here real quick. And uh, we're just going to hang out, have a good time, get a couple matches in. Uh, try to grind a little bit more power level. And uh, try to finish off. Uh, actually, the thing that prompted this for me was actually the call to arms there. You see 60% uh, done, but powerful gear. Powerful gear. Uh, just did a video the other day uh, talking about, you know, power leveling up. Powerful gear is one of the best ways uh, to get some significant jumps. I've had a couple powerful gear drops. Um, they end up being a good amount of levels, usually about 10 levels to 15 levels higher for me right now. I'm currently sitting at 245 power level. So since even since the last video, um, a good little bit, a good little jump up. So we'll jump into this one and then... Uh, I'll talk through my loadout and uh, and uh, we'll go through it. But um, challenges uh, and those milestones are going to be again another big way. And and it, as you guys know, with me new into Destiny, I, I really wanted to get into the multiplayer aspect. I wasn't sure how it was going to work out, to be honest with you. Um, I, I was a little hesitant. I was kind of unsure. Uh, we got a little double kill to start here. Uh, I was kind of unsure just with controls and how the the different weapons and everything would feel. Uh, and honestly, very balanced. I have not had any issues being a slightly lower power level uh, versus some, but there's also people in here uh, much lower level than I that are definitely holding their own. And I'm realizing it's more... Wow. Yeah. Okay, wow. Um, uh, I'm realizing it's more about uh, your loadout, your preferred weapon, um, than it is about really anything else. And I finally have a preferred loadout that I'm using right now. Um, obviously, some of these I will not even go as far as to say they're the best weapon in the game because I do not believe that in the slightest, especially with what power level I'm at. The reason I like what I'm using right now is consistency. Um, the biggest thing for me has been the fact that uh, you need to have the ability to uh, be consistent and uh, just get kills and, and have weapons that get you kills um, and there's a lot of stuff that I was using that I really liked in the campaign I really like doing strikes with um, but were just not working out for me because they weren't consistent enough uh, the loadout I've got now finally consistent and I, I really I genuinely do I really like it uh, if I could aim we'd kill this guy um, I'm also really appreciating the different modes that this game has got so it's got your kind of standardized team deathmatch uh, which is really really neat uh, but it also has this uh, this mode which essentially uh, is kind of like collecting dog tags from Call of Duty that's the best way that I can uh, uh, say to describe it it's really fun you're essentially dro uh, you know, picking up these uh, these orbs that uh, your enemies drop you can secure your teammates as well so very similar for that game mode um, I'm just again I'm just really loving it I'm really liking this loadout that I've got if I could shoot that guy would be I'm gonna get the kill for that anyways. But as you can see, we're we're in it. We got some guys in the 270s. I've been playing, you know, just different levels of people all day, and really, uh, don't be afraid to jump into this, especially the quick plays. Uh, the quick play matches uh, are good. I, I did play some competitive a little bit earlier, which uh, maybe is a little bit more set up for uh, higher levels, but also for those folks that have a lot more experience. And if you've got a dedicated fire team, that's also a good way to get into it. But um, yeah, that's just kind of my experience so far. Like I said, the loadout has been the biggest difference because I, at first one, the first couple matches I played uh, in this, I wasn't really a fan of it. I didn't really have any uh, intentions to play a whole lot of crucible matches. I was only going to do it for uh, the, you know, the milestones or any strikes or any, or not strikes, but any challenges that I ended up getting. Um, and the more and more I play it, the more I realize I really am enjoying it. This guy's let me get this. Throw that down. The other thing is these grenades are just brutal. Um, as you guys know, I'm playing as a Titan class. That's preferred for me. Um, I, I like it when I get my, uh, my special. I also really like the grenade options that I have uh, available to me. Uh, the lightning grenades that drop and shoot. The, the beams uh, and do sporadic bursts uh, into the air. They're hard to use, uh, but they're great for point defense. That's another one of the modes you have, uh, essentially a, a domination style uh, point defense, which is a lot of fun and 
super good for this class, if you ask me. Sneaking on this guy, and there's the consistent headshots. And I'm telling you, that is the biggest difference for me. The fact that I can get consistent headshot damage, I can put the damage on target, and not only on the body, but you'll notice that the headshots obviously give you way, way more damage. Um, it just melts people. And again, weapons not don't necessarily matter. Um, you know, if you're consistent with a weapon, I've seen people, people have killed me with a little bit of everything today. Hand cannons, sniper rifles, obviously as a power weapon, um, you know, pulse rifles, even the cold heart, I've seen people using that quite a bit. Um, everything, if you can be consistent and you can have accuracy for the head, you're going to do all right. I'm just going to melt this guy. That's dead. That's what I'm talking about right here. I mean, again, I'm not the best first-person shooter. Like, uh, you know, I have some experience with Call of Duty. Played Call of Duty pretty much every single one since Call of Duty 4. Uh, you know, so I've got some experience. But I, I usually struggle, especially new into a game. And I did definitely at the beginning until I really realized how important it was. This weapon I'm using is just brutal for consistency. Uh, I love it. There's, like, no recoil. Once you get on the head... Uh, and you can, and you start pegging away at it, you, you really just don't have any issues. Um, so I'll share my loadout after this. This game actually is going to probably be going pretty quick. We really locked this down. My team is... Is this the only guy left? Uh, he's not alone. kind of looked like he was alone for a little while. We got teams of four, though, and it's just... Uh, we're just doing work here. Just having a good time. Um, like I said, get my feet wet into this game, and, and really, I've, I've come to realize that this has been another great way to, uh, to get some power level ups going, to be really honest. Uh, I've gotten some pretty good legendary engram drops, I've gotten some good rare equipment out of this as well, especially for the level I'm at. Um, so if you are looking for another avenue, and maybe you're uh, not so much... Wanting to grind the, you know, the missions or grind public events. This is a great way to jump into some crucible action, get some wins, get some equipment, uh, just have a good time. And we're just 4.5 is the best I've ever done. My team is absolutely brutal. This guy 5.67, I mean, 18 kills. This guy had 17, 17, just brutal, brutal action. That was a great game. And I really, again, I really hold it true to the fact that you got to find a loadout. And equipment that you like if you get good with that equipment and you like that equipment you shouldn't have any problems you'll definitely be able to fare your own um, the pace of the game is actually perfect for me I've always talked about how I'm not as much of a fan uh, of the faster pace kind of the way Call of Duty's kind of been going the last couple iterations this the fact that you have some shields feels a lot more like Halo than it does Call of Duty um, and, and with the weapon setups and everything like that. And it's just, it's a solid, it's a solid game. Solid performance. Uh, again, I really like the quick play option. Uh, I do wish there were some game modes uh, that were a little bit bigger than teams of four. Uh, I would like to see teams of six. I think that would be really chaotic and really crazy. Uh, but for what we get right now, teams of four, fun. And I, I do like that they cycle you through the different game modes. Um, I would hope maybe in the future that you get to kind of pick uh, and maybe just do the deathmatch version or maybe just do the domination type version because I know certain people will prefer different game modes uh, in that sense but uh, for what they give us up front really really happy with it and like I said milestones and challenges are a great way uh, to get yourself um, this call to arms I think I'm getting about I don't know if it's based on percentage or, or how well I rank uh, I've ranged anywhere between about 8 and 12 percent for the win so I probably got about three games left and I'll snab me uh, some powerful gear. You see Nightfall's opened up for me as well uh, with the fact that I'm above 240 now. So Nightfall Strike is definitely something I'm going to go in uh, and want to complete and actually need to get some strike challenges done uh, as well. But with the time, let's go ahead and take a look at my loadout and what I'm rocking. So armor and all that stuff, not necessarily, it, it can be a huge factor, especially uh, if you have any exotic. This um, builds up explosive energy when I do melee kills. So I use this a little bit. Um, really, I just like the way it looks, and it's 260. Uh, this was actually one of my powerful gear drops. So as you can see, pretty significant above where I am and really helping me get my power level up. 
Uh, so I, I can't stress that enough if you're on that grind. Um, but the origin story, this is the rifle that I'm using. And guys, I absolutely love it. Like I said, super consistent, good range, good impact damage. The stability, even though it shows it pretty low, still any handily showing it pretty low, are very solid for this rifle. And I really, really like it. Um, my backup, I do have the hard light, you guys know. Uh, I think I talked about it in the previous video. I'm a big fan of this weapon, something I, I want to keep. Really for the sole fact that I can continue to change. This weapon allows you to change uh, the type of damage that it does. Um, so that's really cool. You can do that on the fly. That's especially neat if you need to do any type of challenges that result in any types of specific damage in the Crucible. Uh, I actually had to do one um, where I was doing the arc actually. Uh, I think that's what it was, or maybe I changed it back. Yeah, I think I had to do arc kills. Um, so you can see here, I can change this on the fly, which is really, really cool. Um, so that's my loadout. Um, I've been swapping around with a different hour weapon going between rocket launchers and swords. Um, and honestly, either one. I think they both definitely have their, their capabilities. Um, I'm not as much a fan of like a fusion rifle or anything like that. A rocket launcher, if you can get it close, obviously just like any other game, you're gonna do a ton of damage. A lot of times uh, the power drops will give you two shots. Um, and that's something I see people will either go for pretty religiously or not go for at all. Um, and I definitely recommend, you, you gotta put that on the top of your list uh, of things to watch out for on the map. So like this one's gonna drop in here in two seconds and I'm just gonna grab it. The nice thing is it auto reload or it auto loads. That guy's dead. It auto loads it for you when you pick up the drop. Uh, so that's the other reason people might shy away. I don't know how I missed that. This guy, what is going on here? Hmm, that was interesting. Um. Oh man, whoo, close. What can stop wow. If you fight uh, sorry, we're just focusing here, just getting, you know, put a few kills in a row. Um, so as I was saying, power weapons. With the rocket launcher, it'll put one in the tube for you, uh, and it'll give you two shots with the swords. It gives you pretty good, uh, you definitely have the capability to do some sword swings. I've used both had good consistency with both. Break the rocket launcher a little bit better because you don't have to be super accurate and you're still going to do a ton of damage. Typically for me, I'm just trying to get close, trying to bring the shields down, trying to drop the damage quite a bit on them, and then uh, from there I'm just going to swap back uh, to the origin here and, and finish them off. So uh, kind of a two-hit combo, uh, and it's really been working. And that's my loadout. Uh, that's what I'm using. If you get a chance and you can find this weapon, I absolutely recommend it. Honestly, trying to remember where I did find it from. Here's these grenades, just gonna do work for me. Shut that guy down pretty good, uh, actually. You saw he, he didn't have a whole lot of life left. The fact that those grenades stay around for a while too, uh, get a couple bursts. I definitely had people walk into them, get hit by one. Um, and the, the Titan class I'm using allows me to have two at once. I can't believe I didn't get either of those guys that are perfectly lined up. Um, allows me to have two at once, so if I really need to, I can really lock myself in an area um, and do some really really solid damage and you're dead and again just I can't stress enough the consistency with this weapon the fact that I can put rounds on target I can get them on the head I can get it into that critical zone um, just helps me it really helps me in the gunfights you'll see that I, I I'm not a big mover when I when I'm shooting especially when I'm ADS and uh, and the fact that I can, I can just get in there, get consistent damage. I could aim and, and just melt people. I mean, you saw I probably got five or six critical hits right there in a row, uh, which is a lot of it's a significant portion of damage above. Um, so let me know what you guys are using. I know there's a lot of other people with a lot more time, skill uh, in this game than me, and I'd be curious to see what you guys are using. Don't be afraid to use melee either. Melee is brutal. Oh no. Um, melee is super brutal too. Uh, so don't don't be afraid. Get in that. Use that. It takes a real good chunk of damage down. 
Um, but if you do have a lot of experience and you've been playing this a lot or you're a Crucible veteran, uh, let me know what the other best weapons are. I'd be really curious to hear uh, what you guys think and, and what's out there for those of you that have a lot more experience than me. Again, this is the loadout that's working, so if you find something that's working, use it. I can guarantee you will have success, especially if you can be consistent. And uh, that's really what it boils down to. So we're going to focus in here. Hopefully everybody's having a great, by the time you watch this, it'll be Sunday. So if you're an NFL football fan, you're going to be having a good day. I know me, college football is what I'm all about. So my Saturdays are uh, my preferred rest day, if you will. And, uh, and I'm hanging out here watching a little bit of football, watching a little bit of Rocket League. So I'm getting a little bit of everything done. I guess I killed that guy and that other guy. Punch me in the face. And we got a close, uh, got a close type match here. With uh, this all setting up the way it is. Got to try to get one of these grenades in here. I missed through that. I cannot shoot for the life of me. And see, there's my grenade. My grenade just doing some. Let's see what else we can get here. You gotta keep it up. I feel like we're doing pretty good. Um, definitely using using the special and uh, powering that up and and picking the right timing. Timing is the biggest thing uh, on that for me at least um, because a lot of times with the way the maps are, the maps are pretty spread, so you get a pretty good uh, you get a pretty good variance in length and uh, oh there we go two for one and. Uh, uh, and so sometimes, like in this map, I'd be really hesitant, uh, be really hesitant to want to use mine until I knew there was a group of enemies, at least two around, uh, not only for the explosion damage that I'm going to get um, from dropping it, it in, like that, um, but I'm hoping, because it's going to take me a little bit of time to run, to move, to probably find somebody, I see I'm going to end up wasting this, more likely than not. Hoping I can get somebody. Wow, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. <laughs> oh, and I couldn't finish it. Oh, the three-peat would have been great. Oh, so close. So, so close. But having a good time, see? That's what I'm talking about. I, I got real close. That was definitely probably pretty much over with. I got a I got a lucky slam in there. See this guy. Uh, too many people. Too many options. Didn't stick to the right one. We're doing pretty good though. We got ourselves a good little lead. The other reason I the other reason I've been a, a fan of this is the, the fact of I like the timing on these these matches and these rounds. Um, I I don't think they're too long. I don't think they're too short. I think they give you a it's a perfect amount of time be able to get in, get some kills, and also make a comeback if that's where your team is at. A little bit of bad shooting right there. Not not as consistent as I like to be. Throw this in. I'll throw that right there. Ooh, guy had some good good damage on that guy. Oh. The other thing you can't be afraid to do, pull out of the fight, heal yourself. There we go. Get finished. Can't be afraid to do that. I, I wish I would have had a match. I had a match before the first one that I played that I absolutely destroyed and uh, was really, really happy with it. And uh, and that really kind of got me going into the Crucible action for the day. Like I said, I was just trying to grind the milestones. Ended up picking this weapon up, started using it, uh, and realized I was like, this is my weapon. This is the one for me. Oh, and see that guy. I mean, you got, you got pistols getting in the fight. Definitely some machine guns. And there we go. We'll finish it off. Get ourselves a crucible token and a nice line baseline mark. And hopefully that's uh, actually. Let's see. Is it better? I've got a 252, 247. It's close. This is legendary drop, so that makes sense. What do we got here? We got a 248 pulse rifle. I'm, I'm, I'm really not. I'm not going to get away from this. This is definitely going to be. Until I find something significantly better, the origin story is going to be uh, my crucible weapon. So 
Uh, that'll wrap it up. Two quick matches, like I said. Just wanted to talk through my loadout, uh, hang out for a few days with you guys, get something uploaded, and just talk through my experiences with the Crucible. Um, like I said, let me know down below uh, in the comments what your preferred loadout is. I know there's a ton of weapons in this game. I know there's some really bonkers uh, exotic weapons that are just absolutely brutal. Let me know. Let me know what you're using. Let me know, uh, you know what your connecting and your energy as well as your power weapon loadout is. Uh, I'd be really interested to hear that. And if there's something that I need to go on the hunt for specifically, you got to let me know. Uh, but so far, so so good. Having a really good time playing some Destiny. Hopefully you are too. And hopefully you guys had a had a great weekend if you're watching this later or still having a great weekend uh, if you're watching this on Sunday. As always, thanks for watching. Doc from Average Gamer, guys. Really, really appreciate all the support. Uh, and stay tuned to the channel. We're going to be uh, having a lot more Destiny 2 gameplay uh, coming up. So thanks for watching.